Hey cuties, I'm Lanikia and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is the the bold and the beautiful edition. Today is Thursday, um, July the 14th, 2022. Alright, let's get right on into this on a scale of 1 to 10. I don't know. I don't I don't know. It was a, like a 7 to me. I know I said yesterday we've been seeing the same six people. But honestly, I would have rather seen those same six people than to see the ones we had today because it did. I don't know. Maybe it was just me. It did nothing for me. But let me see what I can do with this. Um, we see Brooke. She's still saying, I think I know that name. And um, but she doesn't know how she knows the name. And so um, they just say that they're still looking into how she escaped. And they said, well, the, the person that was on duty that said it was over it. All he keeps saying is, I don't know. Like, how is this a lead? He, like he's they ha y'all have no leads because he knows nothing or whatever and that's pretty much it with them they're just saying like we have to find sheila um we have to make sure that she um is behind gets back behind bars and so then we go to uh we go to quinn and eric I, to be quite honest with you this is a stupid storyline to me because it's like quinn you got what you wanted you got to be with carter so why are you so upset that eric was with donna like you uh, yes, I know that Eric had at one time told Quinn that she could be with Carter or whatever, which was uh, weird. But um, she ended up having an affair with Carter and or being with Carter and everything, fell in love with them. And the whole time she was with Eric, even though she was trying to make the marriage work, she was in love with Carter. Carter you got what you wanted. So why are you being so testy and everything um, except ego that's all this is about is your ego your ego is bruised because eric got back with donna of all the people because i feel like if this had he had been cheating with somebody else you would not have cared but because it was donna it, it, it it's an insult and it's humili humiliating to her but they do say that what they want an amicable divorce and they don't want to you know they don't want to fight and contest the divorce they don't want to do anything that, uh, like that but um so eric said that i'll just have we'll, we'll just have the lawyers take care of it and he says i'm gonna do you well and we all know eric is gonna um not gonna rip her off or anything through this divorce he's gonna um compensate her fairly and so wyatt comes in when all this goes on and she said oh because eric was like i want to stop talking because he sees wyatt and she said oh he already knows everything but eric says okay but i'm gonna um go ahead and leave and so wyatt says exactly what we're all saying quinn why are you making this a big deal he said, you didn't want, like, you were no longer in love with Eric. You were in love with Carter. You have Carter now. You can have your future now. Don't do, say, or anything that would make you regret what you have going now. Just let it go. I know you despise Donna and you, ugh, of all the people, but he said, but just let it go, mom. Just, like, stop. Don't, don't make this harder than it has to be. He was like, it's just your bruised ego talking. And it is. It's like, Quinn, let it go. Um, so she says, all right, all right. So um, then we go to Pam, Charlie, and Donna. And they're giving Donna her um, badge and everything. And it says Forster. And, and she said, it, it, my last name is Forster on here. And they said, Charlie said, it's a matter of time. <laughs> he said, I'm not going to be wasting my time changing all these badges and stuff. And so then we see that, um, who is it? Uh, Pam, she says, oh, I'm so glad because I couldn't stand Quinn. So I am so glad you're back. And Charlie's happy she's back and everything. And then uh, Eric comes and Charlie has to leave. But uh, Pam, Pam says, um, I, now that you're divorced from that witch, I could tell you I couldn't stand her. And so I'm so glad you're back with Donna. And so they're happy and they give Quinn a little uh a pre i mean a donna a little appreciation gift and everything and so then pam leaves and it's just eric and donna and you know he tells she says um that they're both happy that they can be be out in the public and he says they're not the only ones who missed you i missed you too and yada 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 it was they just uh, they're just happy to be together and everything and not have to hide it anymore um and so she says, I haven't seen Quinn. I don't know how it's going to be. And he was like, you'll be all right. And so Quinn comes up on them and she leaves. So then when Eric leaves, Donna, Quinn comes back. And Donna says, how are you, Quinn? And she said, I'm pissed. I'm very pissed. And Donna, well, have you tried your meditation? So I said, no, Donna, don't be like that. Don't be like that. Because that's one of the reasons Quinn is upset. Because she said, 
those Logan sisters just don't give a care about anyone's marriage, you know? Um, and so, um, Quinn says, no, what's going to make me feel better is confronting the woman that was sleeping with my, um, husband. And I said, well, here we go, go on and confront her, but don't you lose Carter, um, chasing behind Eric, who you don't even want, like, because Quinn, she's going to tell Eric, you're leaving me for Donna, girl, you already, you have literally been in the bed with Carter the last few days, what are you talking about, get off the screen, like, I can't, like, why are y'all doing this, either make this be where Quinn is still in love with Eric, which we know she's not, she's been saying, she's been hiding these feelings for Carter forever, I, what are y'all doing, what are y'all doing? Let's move on. So then we go to Sheila and Finn in the, um, if Sheila and Finn and Mike. So Mike is telling Sheila, I don't know why I do this for you. I, 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 you just so, you always get me involved. I don't know why I pick up the phone. And so Finn is listening in. And so Sheila says, my son needs this medicine, Mike. I need you to go get it. And he don't really want to go get this medicine. But she says, my son needs it, Mike. He says, the things I do for love. And she said, what? He said, Sheila, you got to know I love you. I do all this stuff. And we ain't just friends. I love you or whatever. I said, well, you, yeah, you won't get yourself put behind bars trying to prove your love for Sheila or whatever. So then Finn starts groaning. Uh, uh. And I said, Finn, what are you doing? And so Mike said, he's awake in there. He's conscious. He heard all this going on or whatever. But Sheila finally convinces Mike to go get the medicine. He says, okay. So he goes to get the medicine. Then Sheila goes back in there with Finn. And um, he says, he still he says um she says he says who is that and she tells him it was um a friend or whatever he said he said he helped you escape why were you in there and she said because of what i did to you and then so he says steffi and she says you're i'm gonna get you healthy enough to see steffi um don't worry about it i'm gonna get you to steffi but right now not right now and he says no and i said Finn, why do you keep doing this why do you keep doing this i thought you said you was gonna try to heal up or whatever Get yourself in better condition and then go against Sheila. Like right now, you can't even get out the bed. What are you doing? And so then Finn is just like, I want to see Steffi now. It's cruel to make her think I'm dead. And she said, no, it's cruel. Is that if I tell her you're alive and then you don't make it and you die anyways, then she'll lose you twice. So let me get you to where you need to be. And then you could go and be with Steffi or whatever. And he was like, no, get her on the phone. You want me to trust you? You say you want me to trust you and everything? Well, then get her on the phone and then I can start trusting you that you're going to do what you're gonna say, you say you're going to do. And she was just like, no, she, baby, Sheila shook that bed. No, I said, Sheila. You pull yourself together. <laughs> no, we're not going to do it that way. You're going to um, heal because that's what you need to do. And you're going to listen to me. And Finn is like, in his mind, you're crazy. You're crazy. But he tells Sheila, I'm getting out of here. So Finn starts sitting up and grunting and doing all this stuff. And Sheila says, no, no, you need to rest. You need to do this. And that was the bold and the beautiful day, y'all. Maybe it was just me. Maybe my it's just me because I don't know. It was like a seven to me today. Did I say it was a seven? It was like a seven. It might have been better than that. Y'all tell me what you think. But for me, it was just a seven. I was like, y'all showing all these people and I don't know. Maybe it's because of I'm like, maybe it is because the way it started off with Quinn being like, Eric, you leaving me for done. I'm like, what, ma'am? You've been in a bed with Eric these last few days. Well, how are you upset that he leaving you for Donna? Like, put your ego to the side and just be happy you got you've been in bed with Carter. Just be happy you got Carter. And like, stop it. Stop it. Don't you do stuff something crazy, Quinn. But anyways, that was the bottom view for y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow for a new episode.